Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm All Things Wrestling, and today I'm going to be reviewing AEW Dynamite 23rd of October 2019. We kick off the show with Lucha Brothers vs. Private Party in their semi finals uh, AEW tag title tournament. I thought this match was absolutely incredible. Uh, Lucha Brothers hit their spike pile driver combination for the victory. Uh, overall, it was an absolutely amazing match. I really did enjoy it. Private Party are fantastic. They threw everything they had at Lucha Brothers. Overall, it was a really good match. It's going to get a 4 out of 5. A very, very solid opener. Don't think it was quite as good as their match against the Bucks, but it was not far off. Private Party are definitely here to impress. Uh, then we get a hype video played for Wardlow. Okay, sound. Uh, 5 out of 10. Can't wait to see what this guy can do in the ring. We then get an update on Christopher Daniels. He's expected to be back in six to eight weeks after suffering a pinched nerve in the attack by the Lucha Brothers. Can't wait to see you back, Christopher Daniels. We then go to SCU versus Dark Order uh, for their semi final match. Uh, the victory happened when Kazarian hit the SCU later on Grayson. Kazarian held Uno at bay while Sky covered Grayson for the pen. Uh, just just note, during the middle of this match, Jericho walked through the crowd up into the like skybox. That will be setting up something for later, obviously. Uh, the match was uh, alright. I mean, I'm glad Dark Order didn't win. I'm really not feeling these guys at all. The match was fairly competent. I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. Overall, it was not a bad tag match. Just definitely not as good as Private Party vs. Lucha Brothers. We then see Kenny Omega and Joey Janela's uh, AEW Dark match. Um, which had to look like a good match. We then had Kenny Omega vs. Joey Janela. Um, the match finished when um, Kenny Omega hit the V trigger, then one winged Adel Angel for the pin. The match was it was a good match. I'm going to give it a three point five out of five. It was a fairly decent match, not one of Kenny's strong ones, but it looked like a competent enough match. We then had Cody come out to give his big announcement with Tony uh, Chiavon. Uh, every time he tried to speak, Jericho kept interrupting him with air horns. Uh, and then Cody said AEW wasn't like the other wrestling company and he and Jericho came from. There's no invisible wall around the ring. He can come up there and fight Jericho. Jericho said, you're a stupid coward, an entitled little millennial bitch. And if he fought him, it would be four on one. Dustin then come out, then MJF, and then... of Oh, Jericho then made fun of MJF's scarf, saying what kind of idiot would wear scarves. Because Jericho, amazing. And then DDP, of all people, came out. So it was obviously four on four. They all walked up to the skybox. Jericho locked himself into the skybox. He then grabbed MJF's scarf, wrapped it around his hand, and punched through the glass and opened the door. A big brawl ensued. Uh, we had like trash cans and um, crutches and that and then security and police intervened Cody and the rest of them were squatted away Jericho was waving a ticket around with his group saying look I paid I paid for a ticket I'm a paying customer and then he's like that's what happens when you mess with the inner circle overall a very good little brawl very entertaining I like the fact that Jericho's just healing this whole situation up. It's going to get a 7 out of 10. We then had Young Bucks versus Best Friends. Uh, the finish happened when the Bucks hit more bang for your buck and then pinned Taylor. Uh, this was a very, very good match. I'm going to give it a 3.75 out of 5. It was a very, very good match. So quality they're putting on in these weekly shows a minute is insane it really really is uh, and then after the match the books accepted Santana and Ortiz's challenge for four gear 
We then had a hype video for Britt Baker focusing on her connection with her hometown in Pittsburgh. And she welcomed everyone to Britsburg. She had a match against Jamie uh, Hayter. She apparently worked with B Priestley in Japan and she's from England, so all thumbs up there. Jamie Hayter look, didn't look bad actually in this match. I've not seen her work before, but I was fairly convinced it was actually a good match. The finish happened when Britt Baker got the lock jaw in and she tapped out. The match was overall not bad. I'm going to give it a 2.75 out of 5. Uh, we then uh, have a bro uh, Jen Decker and the broadcast team tried to interview Hater. She kind of went, how do you feel? And then Hater just started to answer the question. And then Brandy Rhodes attacks her and left her laying and left for some reason. As soon as like the interviewer tried to get a word from Brandy, she got in her face and then walked off. Don't know what's going on there. 5.5 out of 10. Uh, and then we see John Moxley making his uh, entrance. Pack hits him with a chair from behind. And then Pack starts choking him with his own jacket. Oh, is Pack going to get fired like Daniel Bryan? Oh, wait, no. We're not PG. We're fucking TV 14, aren't we? Uh, after the. Then we actually finally get to the match. Uh, Ambrose. Sorry. Moxley hits the. Uh, paradigm shift I believe what we're calling it and then Pat kicks out two and the time limit expires as a draw then Moxley hit the paradigm shift on the referee the show ends there uh, but this wasn't how it ended for me because after that uh, Hangman Page comes out no 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 uh, Pat and Moxley start getting into it. I think Pac somehow gets the upper hand on Moxley. Then Kenny Omega runs down. Oh no, yeah, I remember now. Sorry, it was not on my notes here. I have to remember this by memory. Uh, Pac gets a chair around Moxley's neck, gets on the middle rope. Kenny Omega runs down, makes a save. Then Handman Page comes down. Kind of like double teams Pac. Pac flees. And then Handman Page cuts a little promo on Pack saying, you're just a pussy little bitch without a chair in your hand. Uh, and then he says, I'm going to beat your ass at full gear, I believe, is when they're having an next match. He says, you had to beat me by kicking me in the balls in our last match. You're going to get the book shot. Uh, and that's how the show ended. Uh, but yeah, overall the finish of the match, kind of, the fat crowd weren't happy with, but as soon as Moxley hit the referee with a um, paradigm shift, the crowd seemed to be a bit more into it. I mean, I get it, you need to keep these two strong, but you wanted to have a kick-ass match, so I get why they had to do the draw. I'm not going to complain too much about the draw, but yeah. But yes, overall it was an amazing show. Again, a solid dynamite show. I'm going to give it a mm, 7.5 out of 5. Sorry, 7.5 out of 10. God, it's like half three in the morning. Uh, but yeah, overall, a decent, decent show. Thank you for watching this review. Check out the live reaction if you want to see me actually watching the show every week for all wrestling going on mainly AEW and WWE but yeah, thank you all for watching I'm playing t WWE 2K20 request your match tomorrow so if you want to request a wrestling match either leave it in these comments or join the live stream it will be around about half 10 English time so I believe that's BST or G GMT plus 1 uh, just in contrast there's I believe Five hours difference between me and uh, Eastern time at the minute. So there's five hours between Eastern time and my time at the minute. So yeah, just just so you're kind of aware of the time difference. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please smash that like button, share and subscribe. Massive shout out to the channel members and Tom Blake Cox. Dookie!
Fresh Richards and 3D Revolution. Thank you for the support, guys. I do massively appreciate it. But thanks for watching, and I shall catch you all later. Bye.